Hello, this is David from the Package Registry team and in today's video I want to present you a tool that we created to import packages into GitLab. So the idea of this tool is to um, you have a configuration file where you describe your packages that you want to import and this tool will generate a pipeline config. So why a pipeline? Well, because then we can create uh, as many jobs uh, as there are needed and each job will import one package file into GitLab. Um, currently, there is only NPM packages supported, um, but we plan to add more. So let's demo this uh, tool and how to use it. So here I have a uh, a brand new project empty so first thing we will create a GitLab pipeline uh, config uh, really simple we just include the template that is included in the in the project uh, please note that I'm using the remote keyword here which means that you can include this template from outside gitlab.com so any self-managed instance can reference this file and and have this feature working no problem then as i said we will need a config file here it is and how are we going to organize imports well we will have blocks let me add one so this is an import, uh, there is the type, so NPM, uh, that's the only value uh, available at the moment. There is a source package registry and there is a destination, uh, which is a gitlab.com project. Then we have a description of all the packages that we want to import. We can describe them as a mapping, uh, package name and uh, version, or we can have a package name and a list of versions. Uh, of course, you can have multiple imports. And so this tool will use npm, the, the CLI tool, the CLI, the npm tool itself. So it can interact with any npm compliant package registry. So here is another import. This time around, it is from a GitLab. Uh, dot com project a different one but since the gitlab npm package registry is an npm compliant package registry we can read packages from from that notice that for the destination uh, this is yaml so we can use a yaml anchor so that i will not repeat everything uh, so this is nice but let's add another uh, npm package registry provider so again this one has implemented the npm apis of the npm package registry and so we can read packages out of it just fine and import them and lastly this wouldn't be fun if we can't import packages from the official registry so npm gs.org um, last thing, notice that we can also import packages from a CSV. So this way you can have a different tool that will create that CSV and then feed that CSV into uh, this importer. So let's create that CSV. Here it is. So very simple. There is only two columns, package name, package version. That's it. No headers, no titles, nothing. Just two columns. Um, yeah, I think we're good. Uh, so let's commit this. And see what happens. So we will have a look at the pipeline side. And here we have our pipeline so our template 
that we imported is describing uh, so one job that's our importer tool that will take the config file and generate the pipeline config uh, it well it's already it's already done uh, you can see that the pipeline config has been successfully written nice so uh, a, a, a pipeline config has been uh, created and now if we go back to the pipeline there is a downstream pipeline here it is and we do have all our imports um, organized by uh, the import block so each import block maps into a stage for the downstream pipeline and you can see each job is importing one package uh, it's all green nice so all the packages were imported successfully if you have any error of or on, on any package of course you can click on the job and you get all the logs uh, you can see as I said we are just using the npm client to pull and publish the package like nothing magical now let's have a look and here we have all our packages into GitLab so we successfully imported packages from one two three four different sources so um, have a look at this tool try it uh, don't hesitate to open issues for ideas bugs or feedback and I will leave the um, this URL of the project in the video description. Bye.